Nick here, and I'm joined by Sue Moses from Video Confidence Coach. Sue, thank you for sitting down with me today. Oh, pleasure, Nick. Yep. Now, for those that don't know you, mm-hmm. you were a real estate agent. Before that, I was a television presenter. Okay, so before that, Sue was a television presenter. And a radio host. And a radio host. DJ. DJ. Then a real estate agent. Yeah, okay. for five minutes. For five minutes, okay. Yeah. So, but you were up here on the North Shore, correct? Yeah. Okay, cool. So you're being a part of Turnkey this year. What are you going to talk about and how can you help agents with their videos on, is it just social media that you look after or is it? Yeah, pretty much is is my focus is social media uh, with a particular interest in stopping the scroll. Okay, Uh, so what's stopping the scroll for those that don't know? Okay, so we've got our phone and we're sitting at the bus stop waiting for the bus to come and we're in our news feed and we're doing this. Or an open scrolling. home with no one showing up. Yeah, or an open yeah. home with no one showing up. Okay. So it's the equivalent to the old days when somebody would have a magazine, pick up yep. a magazine and would just, you know, flip the pages through. Mm. Um, so what, what I want real estate agents to be able to do if they're using uh, social media, and you bloody well should be, right? Yeah, right. 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is to, to understand what makes people stop the scroll and see your stuff. Okay, cool. So, it's a lot of stuff that you're going to have in um, for, for Turnkey for the guys at Red Star, but I think, what is the number one tip that they can take away from today? Like, what, what's the biggest mistake that you're seeing with agents with their videos at the moment? Okay, so there's, there's actually two things. I see agents taking their campaign track shot videos, which they use to uh, post on realestate.com right. or domain.com, which are very much targeted to active buyers, buyers who are definitely looking to buy a house. Social media works so, so well for passive buyers. So if you create videos, so don't take, I mean, sure, take your campaign track video and and post it in socials. But if you can look at your home uh, look at what you what stops you in the news feed and it's it's fabulous nature shots yeah, or yeah. or you know holiday things yeah, and stuff yeah, like that yeah. so look at the the property that you're you're listing and go okay what's the most attractive feature in this okay. home what's you know what looks like a resort shot or, right. or something okay. like that yeah. and start your video with that okay so rather than it be you out in front of the house number 12 or, or something like that, that's not going to stop a passive buyer yeah. scrolling. Okay. So so think about the videos that you make for social media from the frame of what would stop you from doing this on your phone. Okay, so in that case, can... what what's So I see a lot of agents who you know, that the, the camera's focusing on them. It's a lot of, you know, their cars driving into, um, what do you call it, uh, driveways right. and things like that, or the agent descending the stairs and all that kind of thing. We had an agent in Melbourne uh, last year who actually got the vendor involved. They got the yeah. vendor on camera, uh, and the vendor actually sat down like we're doing now mm. with the owner and said, look, talk to me about why you love this property, why a, a buyer would love the property. I mean, is that a good way to go? Because you're talking about stopping the scroll. Yeah. Is that you want to be known for that? Yeah, you want your yeah. content to you want people to see your name. Okay, with it. what's he going to have, about a, have a bit of fun with it. Like uh-huh. the the news feed is about being entertained and passing time. Yeah. So I've seen some fabulous stuff that agents do where it is kind of quirky. You don't realise that it's a real estate video right. to start off with. It's like, what is this? This looks weird. What's well, going on here? Because people don't go on social to be sold. Yeah, they? they're yeah. not. They're not looking for a, their new home. If they're looking for a new home, they're on domain.com yeah. or realestate.com or your agency's website. They're not in here. They're in here to be entertained. Uh, yeah, so if yeah. you can create a video that stops them because it looks, you know, gorgeous or funny or, or wacky or whatever and then they go holy shit that's in the street that I grew up in I've always wanted to take my family yeah. and raise my family there yeah and oh wow look I've always loved that house yeah if you it's that's the type of yeah. thing so if you start off with something fun and then perhaps you have another video with Nick like what you were saying where you're sitting down to with the agent uh, with yeah. the owner going yeah. what did you love about this yeah. place yes yeah. tells you know it's storytelling and yeah. it's, it's yeah. entertainment 
entertainment. Okay, so on that, and I get asked this all the time, so with my videos, uh, and guys, if you are struggling uh, with video, and we will come to what can you do video-wise if you're not comfortable being on camera, um, the way I do my videos, they're very selfie mode. So I've got my tripod, uh, I set it up, put it on selfie mode, do it. I might, if I'm feeling creative, drop it in iMovie, throw a little tune yeah. behind it and some captions. Do you need a big budget no. production? No. And why not? Because social media videos are intimate. It's one-on-one. -on -one. It's somebody kicking back on the sofa, their phone in their hand, they're not having a conversation with anyone, they're just doing this, passing time, you know, forgetting about something, getting over something. It's It's very... It's it's home movie, yeah. you know. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. it's not it's not domain dot com. It's so do people need to be careful of the wording that they use because from what I see with with, with different companies and things like that, I think we are so used to you know being agents. We're so used lingo. to the lingo. Yeah, but no. you know, don't talk like you're in a sales meeting. Your your potential new vendor or appraisal call is not going to be impressed by you talking about you know days on market okay. and 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 stuff like that and so don't and I see this a lot big mistake as you were okay. saying before yeah. is agents doing videos and they're talking like they're in a sales meeting they're talking yeah. about vendors I mean shit most first-time home sellers wouldn't know the difference between you know, a, a, yeah. a vendor and a, a, a whatever, or anyway. contracts issued. Yeah, that, or, or contracts. That, you know, yeah. We've had 16 parties through. Don't, they're not parties, they're people. Okay. And it sounds so much better if you say we had 32 people come through right. and they're a combination of downsizers yeah. and quite a few young families because they love this school district. It's, and it's, and well, I was talking to my, my owner and, you know, they're a very private person yeah. and they love this because, you know, there's no, you know, do, 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 do. It's, it's people. You so know, don't I, be a real estate wanker. <laughs> <laughs> so I think the, the one thing that I take away from it and I talk to my guys and it's just like every time you do a video, think of it that you're talking to Mrs. Smith down the road who's 40 one years on old. One. She's never sold before. Yeah. She doesn't know what the lingos are. Yeah. Talk to her. Don't talk at her. Yeah. So that's it's it's, it's like you're selling your favorite auntie's house. Okay. You know, it's, you're selling a home. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you yeah. know, it's like hi. You know, and it is. It's just they're not properties. I'm so sick of your properties, properties, properties. It's not my. It's not a property. It's, it's not my a new home. Listing. It's not a new listing. It's or not it's, our latest yeah. listing. It's Mrs. Smith's house. Yeah. Mrs. Smith is selling her home of thirty two yeah. years. Okay. So what about the people that don't want to be on camera? What okay. can they do? Well, they're called point of view, okay. POVs, and that's you're walking around and you're narrating. I've just learned that on TikTok. Yeah, POV. I have, yes, yeah. I have. I'm fit. Yeah, follow me yeah. on TikTok. <laughs> and it's and it's and you know, like I've seen some other great stuff where where agents use their their cute kid or yeah. you know they get the, their home their client yeah. to do the talking or you just do the video tour. And I think that they are really, really super effective. If you start off with a great shot yeah. by the swimming pool yeah. or, you know, the, the nicely styled back deck. Yeah. And it's, you know, um, and that it, and because once again, people are watching news feeds yeah. sound off. So think of the visuals that's, that's kind of intriguing. One of the best ones that I ever saw is actually one that I did was for a, um, a 10, uh, I didn't, I didn't do it, but I advised on it. Right. So it was a property, a home with a ten million dollar, you know, plus expectation. That was yeah. that was the guide, and it had been beautifully shot, and it, they had all the lovely shots, but it had been edited. So it started off with the streetscape and you know the close yeah, up okay. of the number. What we did is we just took that existing footage, reworked it. So that it started off looking like a James, the opener for a James Bond movie. You know, we got this amazing animal yeah, yeah. drone sweeping in from somewhere, and so we, if you you wouldn't have known yeah, okay. what that was, and it wasn't until about the the last um, twenty seconds of the video that you actually saw that it was a you know I probably I guess about halfway through it you would have started to realise maybe this is a, a real estate video. But you wouldn't have known whether it was advertising a holiday resort yeah, okay. or a short for a new movie or what it was. But then very much at the end, we then brought up a little bit of the agents and then it yep. finished with his, the, with the address okay. and the contact details. Okay, so what about the agent at the moment that's got no listings? 
What then kind of content can they be putting out? Everything, anything okay. and everything. Pictures of their, you know, the street sign of, yep. you know, one of the ones in the five minutes that I was in real estate and, uh, you know, trying to do something because I hated door knocking and I hated being on the phones, <laughs> which is probably why I was only in real estate for five minutes, <laughs> was, you know, you, you go into your favourite street in your patch yeah. and you talk about the favourite street or you, you know, when you're out um, doing letterbox drops, it's, oh, wow, look, this first magnolia I've seen in bloom yeah. this this season, or you know, here I you know this park. It's like sh make sure you don't have any little kitties in it or yeah, anything. Yeah, yeah. But capture yourself in your marketplace. In your marketplace. Yeah. yeah, because um, and, but especially around different things that people know, like mm. I, I, not iconic things, but you know, the local shops. And things like that. You know, go to the local shops and do. It's you know one of the girls that I um, helped in the early days, and she had the you know the local shops and. You know how hard it is to find a good butcher these days because yeah. they you know they are yeah. a dying breed and yeah. in the local shops and she just went in and went you know hi jack you know yeah. it's like what's what's for dinner tonight sort of thing yeah. and he you know and so that's developing goodwill yeah in that local community yeah uh so that when and i mean these people are talking to 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 homeowners every yeah. day yeah exactly what you, you know well and, and that's it. i mean support local business and all that kind you of just need well. to you just need to be seen and that is the genius gift to to new real estate agents yeah. in in a competitive Very marketplace yeah. is you just keep posting and you're not annoying people it's not like putting crap in their letterbox yeah. or, or knocking on the door or you know if they don't and then at some point, yeah. those, that subliminal yeah. messaging, yeah. it goes ping, oh, you know? Well, well, that's it. I mean, the, the way I do mine is basically if I'm walking down the street, it's something like that. Or I've got, like I said, I've got it on the tripod. When you verse that against a professional video, that professional video can cost you a couple hundred dollars. Yeah. At oh, least in, minimum. <laughs> uh, and the rest, but yeah. then a, minimum, a, 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 a selfie mode video you can put an ad spend behind that. What you're going to spend on the video itself, yeah, yeah. you can actually put an ad spend on that to promote that to your marketplace. So, particularly if you if you're using it well and you're not being a real estate wanker, okay. because it may be different in different countries and stuff yeah, like that. And yeah. I'm sure in, in at, at at different levels in the marketplace. But if you're if you're positioning yourself in a subtle way as being a well-dressed, warm human being yeah. who does have some market knowledge. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, you know, you can, do, you can do really, really well because people aren't... I mean, I go to my letterbox once in 10 days. Yeah. If that. Yeah. And, and what's in there? <laughs> and what's in there, yeah, you know? Yeah. Okay, so something that I did when I was starting out 17 years ago... Oh, sorry, it wasn't 17 years ago. Probably when I started video. Yeah because uh, iPhones went around then, yeah. um, uh, probably around 2014, 2015, was, I, and I'd seen another agent do it in a different way, mm. but I was coming through the ranks in Sydney's eastern suburbs, and I'm not from Sydney, mm. uh, I'm definitely not from Sydney's eastern suburbs, mm. so I started sitting down with my vendors and filming, learning about the area. Mm. So I'd ask them, how long have you been here, what's it like, what are the changes, how do you feel about the yeah. area, and I, I got my database i've got my clients involved in in my work positioning you so for someone who's just starting out um or for someone who doesn't want to go on camera mm. what what's the first like how do they get started on camera like what's what's the key top takeaways or the three top things that they need to get started to get in front of the camera to get in front of the camera if they're not confident is to remember that it's not about you okay to remember that the biggest troll you will encounter is the one that's that's up here in, in, in your head. It's not, people aren't like sitting on here. I mean, I've been doing video for, since 2017. How yeah. long have you been doing video? Since 2014. Since 2014. How many trolls, how many times have you been trolled? <laughs> Every day. Every day? Every day. I've, I've had about four trolls. And four. it does not stop me. Yeah. You know why? Because number one, if you don't, if you're not happy with what you record, don't post it. Yeah. Number two, I get results from it. Yeah. 
Number three, we were looking at one today. Um, I got eight likes on the video, but it had over 300 views. Yeah, yeah. Now, I care about the 300 people, not the eight that liked it. Mm. There's 292 people that didn't like it, probably because they watched it and kept scrolling. It's just, it's about, it's, it's about thinking about your motives. Why are you doing this, mm. you know? Uh, and, yeah. and, and getting, yeah, get, and, and going beyond that and remembering that you will always be your hardest crit critic. Yeah. One of the exercises that I give clients is, is a thing called hero moments. And I yeah. want you, you sit down you, and, and you think about all the times you've done something that's been amazing, that's worked out really well, whether it surprised you or whether you thought it was coming. Yeah. You know, when people have gone, wow, Nick, yeah, that yeah. was awesome. Yeah, yeah. You think and you relive it. Yeah. And, and, and you capture that, that confidence and yeah. that energy and that, it just lifts well, you. Well, people want that authenticity. Yeah. Don't they? So, and it's yeah. not about being an energizer bunny. No. It's not about no. trying to be, you know, Sean Connery. It's yeah. it's who you are, but who you are, as I say, yeah. on a good day. Yeah. So you think about the times when, you know, the, the your client has rung up and said, okay, Nick, we're ready to yeah. go bring that agency agreement around. Think yeah. about that, how that makes you feel, or when you've just had a really good auction, or when you've, if you've just started out, you don't have those things to draw on, when you've, you know, you've, um, you're just about to have a catch up with an yeah. old mate from college that you haven't seen in, in six years, yeah, and you yeah. know you're gonna have a great laugh and a great time, or it's the third or fourth date, and things are going really well, you know, it's just, Yes. Yeah. Okay, so we've got to wrap up. So you've got a course that people can buy yeah. and download. Mm -hmm. So why don't you quickly tell the guys what your course is all about, how they can find you. We'll pop your links up everywhere. And uh, yeah. Okay, thanks Nick. Um, so, so where I spend most of my time helping is um, online entrepreneurs particularly Americans, okay? And okay. so they're marketing their business and creating courses and things like that using video. So that's that's what that's all about. But um, the suemoses.com dot yep. au is yep. my Australian site, so you can contact me, yep. you know, probably it's easier if it's just contact you through there. And <laughs> and like, yeah, I'll yep. throw you a link throw you a link yep. that way. But it's it's about confidence, it's about basic production, yeah. uh, you know, light, audio, backgrounds, um, and and how to be concise and authentic. Yep. So how to be prepared without sounding rehearsed yeah, yeah, and how to, to not ramble on for 10 minutes. And see, that's, that's, that's the funny thing about this chat is we actually sat down to film a promo and I think this is going to be the video that we use. That's the course. Because <laughs> that it, well, uh, 100% because it, it's, it wasn't scripted. Uh, I've been trying to think of the questions as they kind of come, but they just they just generate in, in, in normal conversation, and I think that that's what we really want yeah. on the video. Is it's, yeah. it's conversation. Yeah. We're not ramming a product down down people's yeah. throats. It's just happened naturally and organically. Yeah. And guys, I've worked with Sue now. Oh God, we've over yeah two years. Um, and I've seen some of the work that she does, and especially for you guys who want to shake it up this year with your videos, not confident to get out there, want to know the tips and the tricks and all that kind of thing. Um, Give us all a call, contact her through us, um, or go back to Sue. Oh, look, it's just easy to contact. Just come, me. just, just, <laughs> just come to me, um, and we'll give you some new details that pass you on, guys. Thank you very much, Sue. Thank you for being a part of Oh my pleasure. And uh, yeah, guys, just knock it. Just knock the socials. Just, just get posting. Just friggin' do it. <laughs>